I am here today with Joe Gormley. He's the hospitality management chair for the College of Southern Nevada. How are you doing today, Joe? Hey, Chris. Thanks for having me here. I'm doing very well. How about yourself? I am excited to be here today. I'm, I'm very happy to have this conversation. I think uh, anytime we get to talk to educators who are focused on our future, it's always a good conversation. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Thanks for having me. So, Joe, uh, you know, you find yourself now in an, in an educational institution, but this wasn't always your career path. Uh, you mind taking us through the, the you know, the two minute version of, of kind of how you got here and how you ended up here? Sure, absolutely. Actually, uh, you know, way back in the day, I went to college to be a rocket scientist. I went for aerospace engineering. Didn't quite work out that way. Um, ended up getting a degree in business and uh, moving out here when I was 22 years old to Las Vegas. Uh, started my first company at 22 as an Italian ice company, driving driving little trucks around selling slushies to this new area called Summerlin. Um, did that for many years. And in the process, uh, uh, got a company that ran the concession stands at uh, Lorenzi Park, uh, which turned into running all the concession stands for the city of Henderson. So it just kept building and building. And then... Uh, uh, I realized all of a sudden I was in my 30s and I had a pocket full of uh, concession money and uh, ended up buying um, a bar right across from UNLV called Moose's Beach House Bar and Grill. It was it was Carlos Murphy's and it was Moose McGillicuddy's. So it was uh, been here a long time. Um, so that, that was an 8,000 square foot restaurant. And so that progressed all the way to owning that restaurant. And then about that time, um, I had a son and I said, okay, maybe it's time that I grew up and, uh, you know, <laughs> got a, uh, got a real job. And, uh, I went back and got my master's degree. And when I, by the time I graduated with my MBA at UNLV, UNLV hired me to teach their capstone class, um, uh, uh, in the hospitality department. Um, I taught there for a few years, and then a full-time position came open at uh, came up at CSN. I jumped over to CSN, uh, and within six years, I I'm running the uh, the whole hospitality department. So, in a nutshell, it's been it's been a fun ride for the last thirty years here. <laughs> I love it, man. That is a great story. I think. Uh, you know, Italian ice to a bar owner to uh, you know sit here you know, grooming the future. I think that's awesome. Yeah. And, you know, you moved, I moved out in a, uh, a 1978 Toyota Corolla with a rotted out bottom that I could see the road the whole way. So I moved out here with zero and uh, <laughs> it's been fun. It's been, fun. I think everybody's got had the, the Fred Flintstone car at some point in time. It's, yeah, uh, exactly. That's how you know you work in hospitality. I'm sorry. That's how you know you've worked in hospitality oh, when exactly. you've got the Fred Flintstone car. Exactly. Right. Right. <laughs> so Joe, let's, let's talk about uh, what you've built there. Right. So talk to me about the, the programs that you all have uh, uh, at Southern uh, CSN there, because they're kind of unique in what it is you're doing. Yes. So uh, here at CSN uh, in the hospitality department, um, we have several different programs. Culinary arts is our biggest. Um, we have pastry arts, food and beverage management, uh, gaming. We have tourism and we have hotel management. So all of those programs fit under the hospitality management degree. Um, our base is more practically based. We are, teaching, we are teaching what it's like to work in that industry. It's more hands-on than it is textbook. Even though we still have textbooks and the whole, the whole nine yards with education, we are that hands-on program that's gonna get the students out there and into the industry. Okay. Now your, your community college, is that right? Yeah. The College of Southern Nevada is still considered a community college, although we do have four-year degrees and we have started three bachelor programs in our department. Well, that's really interesting. So what uh, three bachelor programs within the, within the college, what, what are those three programs? So we, you can get a four-year bachelor of applied science in tourism convention and event planning, uh, food service operations, and culinary arts. So now you can take that two-year degree in culinary arts and you can bring it on to that four-year in culinary arts, or you can switch over to food service operations, which runs the entire restaurant as opposed to just running that kitchen. Um, but it's giving them, it's giving the students that that management base that the big houses like Marriott and stuff are looking for to get you into that management training program. 
Awesome. Now, one of the things you alluded to before and, and the things that we've talked about in the past, uh, you know, I am fascinated by your uh, hands-on approach and the hands-on focus uh, that you all have taken because I have talked to a ton of people who have taken hospitality management programs uh, at, at schools all over the country, and they are largely theory-based. So, so how is yours different than the normal theory-based hospitality degrees or culinary degrees you've seen there? Well, here at uh, CSN, we probably have 25,000 square feet of kitchen area. We have uh, modular kitchens and bake, uh, bake shops, and um, we, we have our own uh, restaurant, Russell's Restaurant, that is open to the public. Um, in fact, that was my class yesterday, and I had a room full of red hat ladies. <laughs> and uh, uh, we're teaching the students. So uh, we have several classes working together. So we had the, the French culinary class working in the back of the house, and we had the restaurant management class working in the front of the house. Uh, we have a breads class that makes bread for the class. We have a pastry arts that makes the desserts for the class. And we serve these people a three course meal, uh, fine dining service, where uh, um, the students learn every aspect of it. And our culinary students are required to take the front of the house course as well. So they see that relationship between the back of the house and the front of the house. A lot of times, you, you know, Chris, in the industry, the front of the house, and the back of the house, they kind of go head to head. <laughs> well, this kind of makes them see both sides of it. They say, oh, OK, I see the problems they're having. And, uh, and so they understand both sides of the coin. Awesome. Awesome. Now, from an education perspective, I mean, obviously, uh, you know, everybody wants to find that person who knows exactly what they're doing. What are some of the unique things that you're teaching them there that they may not get uh, in some of these other programs? Well, they're working with products here that they will probably never work with again once they get out into the industry. In fact, yesterday, one of the appetizers was veal sweetbreads, right? That's the, that's the pancreas of, of, a, of a young cow. And you never, you're never going to see this in restaurants. Yet, yet they're working with these products. We work with you know, the the highest quality of food products, and um, some of the stuff I see come across my desk that I have to sign for. I'm like, fifty dollar a pound mushrooms? What what are these things? <laughs> um, and it's really amazing that they can work with these items and be and and and, and understand all of them as well. That, that's absolutely awesome. Um, so, you know, as you're developing not only hands-on uh, uh, culinary team members, one of the things you mentioned was also leadership skills, management skills. Um, what sort of what sort of management practices are you walking through with the team right now, or with the with the students right now? So, um, uh, once they get into that uh, the bachelor level courses, uh, we are we are taking them and we are putting them in that leadership role. So now they are in charge of the 100 level restaurant management class. They are guiding them through it. They're saying, okay, today you're going to do this, you're going to do this, you're going to do this. Um, they're doing at the end of the at the end of the shift. They're running the numbers and 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 um, closing out the shift and teaching them those skills so that they can lead others uh, because. It's, it's hard to teach management. You know, people take a management class and I tell my students, you can't be a good manager until you actually are in that position managing, right? I can give you all the textbook stuff there is. I can tell you how to lead, but until you figure out your groove, that's what makes you become a good manager. So we put them in those positions to lead and develop their style while they're here. I think that's absolutely great. Uh, so if you are, you know, you're putting all this practical application together, you're, you're setting them up with the hands-on uh, approach to being able to do things. What kind of, what kind of future opportunities are they looking at when they graduate? Okay. So any kid, any kid these days can walk down to a restaurant and say, Hey, I need a job. <laughs> right. <laughs> and, and, Believe me, in this industry, they're like, how fast can I get, uh, you know, an apron on you and, and get you on that line? When these students walk out this door, they are trained culinarians, if you will. Um, they, they are being sought after. The, the, the major casinos here, the major restaurants here, 
they they want not only employees but employees that know what they're doing simple knife skills that that you know when you're hiring someone off the street they just don't understand that and these kids come in and they are it, it, it i'll be honest chris i watch them and i am in amazement there are times i just sit there and watch the students go watching them you know take this this full salmon it's a, the full fish and just you know, you know, fabricate that into an eight ounce serving is just it, it. There's a reason they call it culinary arts, because it is an <laughs> art. And it is amazing to watch these kids. So if I am, you know, if I'm a business owner, and I'm listening to this, right, I, I'm hearing that you've got a great program. Uh, you know, obviously, uh, if I can, if I can get somebody from your, your, uh, your field, I am, but I've also got to think of, you know, what can I do to educate my team? Right. So if you were if you were advising a business owner right now on, you know, high value things that they could do to teach their team to be successful, what kind of things are you talking to them about? Well, we're going to talk about we're going to talk about doing things. You know, I always it's so sounds so cliche doing things the right way, not cutting corners. That was one of the things that I would see even in my restaurant. You go on, you go in the back and they're always trying to make things quicker and cutting corners. And, and you know, don't do that. Do things, you know do it the right way. The, the, the customer will be way happier if you're going to do that. So it's important that you create consistency um, with your employees to make sure that they're all doing it properly and all doing it properly at the right time. What I like about our students is they can be those leaders. They can be the ones that will, will guide a, uh, an entire um, um, kitchen worth of employees and show them the right way to do things. So hiring, hiring a, a, a trained student, you know, can really benefit that small operation that kind of has, you know, their, their, their kitchen in disarray, if you will. Okay. Uh, that's absolutely awesome. And, you know, when you are, when you are building your training, right. Uh, the stuff you see that's very effective, uh, you know, is it, is it hands-on exercises that are, you know, uh, a shorter, are they more in depth? Is it written material? Is it video? Like what's working for you these days? So, you know, we, we work it from every angle, but they start from day one, you know, day one, they're, they're taking sanitation. So they're learning all the proper sanitation skills, but then they're also taking basic cooking along with that. And in week two of basic cooking, you have a knife in your hand and you are, you are starting the process right away. Um, yes, there is book skills that, that we need. You need to be able to cost out food. You need to be able to, you know, you know, figure out how much, how much a, a meal costs, right? You know, it's not just, okay, well, it's a piece of chicken. Well, what else is with that chicken? You need to count everything in there. So we are training on the book side of it. And, and, and there is more to it than just fabricating the food. So, um, they go from every angle. The practical, the book side, and 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 training them to be good employees. All right. Well, that's I, I think that that's something that, you know, nowadays obviously training is such a is such a big piece because, uh, the workforce isn't you know it it's not very robust right now, right? You know, finding people is always difficult and it always really kind of has been. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. So training has become huge in what it is that we're doing these days. So that's definitely some great insight there. I like that. Yeah. Um, so as you're talking to your students, right, I mean, you've got, you've got quite a robust program going here. Um, you know, as they're exiting college and they're going into the workforce, uh, you know, what kind of things are they saying or what kind of things are they looking for? Uh, what are the students looking for? Yeah. You know, they're, they're, they're looking for a company that's going to back them. You know, one of, one of the things I talk to the students is you want to work for, for a company that, that supports you as, as an employee that is not just going to use you as a tool but to treat you as a, a, a part of the part of a family the best restaurants there it, it's all family oriented so so when when these students are going out there they're looking for that they're looking for that 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 job that makes them feel comfortable um, but that does challenge them to, to use their skills, not just to be a job that's going to be repetitive day after day doing the same thing. So they are looking for that challenge. 
they're taking those skills and the, and the leadership skills that they're learning and they want to use those when they get out into the industry. I'm writing these down because, you know, obviously I, I have a business as well and I'm hiring a lot of people. So I definitely want to make sure I key in on what they're <laughs> looking for. I think that's great. Um, so, you know, obviously challenging people, uh, supporting them, uh, you know, one of the questions that I think a lot of people are wrestling with these days and is, is you're an educator, you could pro probably have some great insights here, uh, you know, is kind of valuing the college degree, right? A lot of people, uh, you know, it's come under fire a lot, especially as the, the rising costs. Yeah. You know, Help me, help me try to define the value here or what people are, are, are associating value with the college degree these days. Okay. So, and that, that's a, that's a, just a phenomenal question. And, and I, and I love when it comes out there because when they talk about the, the, uh, the lessening value of a college degree, they're not talking about career and technical education. They're talking about liberal liberal arts and and the and and the, the bachelor degrees that really aren't turning around for anything. But this education, yes, you're getting a degree. It's a college degree, but this being that practical education is giving you all the tools you need to be successful in the industry. You know, yes, you do have to take an English course. Well, that's good because communication skills are important in the kitchen as well, <laughs> right? Um, you do have to take some of your general education, but but to to a limited uh, uh, necessity to to what is really good for you once you get out there. The big thing with this college education is that it's it's giving you those skills you need to get out there. It's we're not messing around with the silly stuff. You are learning the meat and potatoes. Pardon the culinary yeah. fun, <laughs> you're learning the meat and potatoes to get you in there and get you that job. So with the career and technical education, it's not what they're talking about when you hear that the, the college degree is overrated. This is what you need. This is the degrees that you're looking that are going to get you the job once you get out of that. So, so if I'm a hiring manager in hospitality, right? Because it doesn't matter if I'm a hotel or a venue or, or really anything at this point in time, if, if, you know, if I'm serving people at some point, I'm hospitality, right? Right. So, so these are the kind of programs I should key in on are, you know, the, the ones that are practical, the ones that are hands-on, uh, yeah. the ones that actually offer a technical value versus maybe the, the ethereal. Yeah. The yeah. theoretical education. Yeah. And, and a lot of the, a lot of the bigger colleges are now going towards that, that research based theory, um, you know, I got a phone call from the head of MGM International, and I, I remember the words out of her mouth were, Joe, we need somebody that wants to cook a cake at three o'clock in the morning. And I said, my students will not only cook you that cake at three o'clock in the morning, but they'll ask you how many cakes do you need at three o'clock in the morning? And that's exactly what she was saying is that the, the bigger schools are coming out with these people that they just want to sit in an office and 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 look at numbers. They don't want to actually be out there doing that. And so that's another one of the big companies that said, we'll, we'll take your graduates because they, they know that our, our students are ready to go. Well, and I think that's important, right? Is it, hiring managers are, you know, not only looking at the degree, but the really the efficacy of the degree, right? Is, is making sure that, you know, you understand what you're getting because if you, you know, some of these programs are going to give you office people. And if you need office people, that's great. Right. Like maybe, maybe that's a, a, definitely the way to go. But if you're looking for practical application, you need to look for more of these technical uh, colleges that are offering that technical service and that technical education. Right. And so that's why, you know, we're taking that that practical two year degree and turning it into a four year degree. And we're teaching them what they need to know for a manager. Simple things like we talked earlier about spreadsheets. You know, we, we talk to our advisory committees and they're like, we want somebody that knows how to work with a spreadsheet. And and so we're, we're taking what the industry says they need and we are feeding this into our students. So that way, when they come out, they are exactly what the industry is looking for. We're not, we, we don't want them to research what's going on uh, on the other side of the country somewhere. We want them to be able to get in the job, be able to read financial uh, uh, um, uh, documents, understand, be able to work with that, the, the, uh, the spreadsheets, change things and, and make things happen in that management role. So we're preparing them for that. Yeah. I think that's absolutely awesome. I think that's absolutely awesome. So as somebody who's, who's 
uh, you know, molding the future here with your programs. Uh, you know, I, I'm sure you got a ton of advice. So what, what kind of advice are you giving, uh, uh, you know, your students as they're exiting and going into the workforce these days? Yeah, I, I, I try to teach them the ethics that, that I was raised on the, you know, uh, you're not, you're not coming to work on time. You're coming to work early, early is on time, on time is late, right? right. Um, I'm teaching them to be there every day, right? To work hard, give, you know, give, give more than you're asked for to move up that ladder. If you just show up, you're not going to do that, right? Be that one that stands out and we're giving you the skills to stand out. So, so go out there and work hard. You know, you know, I, I, I always kid around the student tell them you're just, you're just a a product to me. You, you, you're just a piece of meat. I'm turning you out there. But the truth of the matter is, is that what they are is that I'm trying to create not only me, but all of the chefs and professors that work here, we're trying to create that next level of industry worker that, that, that is needed out there that is going to make us proud. So that's what we're trying to turn out. So work hard, you know, be that, be that worker out there that, uh, that everyone wants, that everyone looks up to. I, I think every employer just silently clapped for you. Uh, you know, in the, in, in the age of quiet quitting and all of the rest of this, uh, you know, I think anybody who has a work ethic and is is willing to put in the extra mile, you know, to be able to get the results they're looking for, not just, you know, to, to die on the sword, which I think is what a lot of people confuse that with, right, is, you right. know, what I'm looking for is for you to give the extra effort to get where you want to be, not just where they want to be, well, right? Right, right. Give them more. Let them know what they didn't know they wanted. <laughs> absolutely. I think that's absolutely phenomenal and amazing advice. Um, well, Joe, as we wrap up here, uh, you know, where are people going to find out more about uh, your bachelor programs? Because I think you probably got a, a lot of people excited here. Yes. So, you know, uh, csn.edu is the simple website to get there um, in the search bar, hospitality management, um, um, our our bachelor programs, uh, you know, if, if you don't have any culinary experience, you can start in that associate's degree and work your way all the way through. Um, if you have uh, an existing associate's degree, then you can start right into that bachelor program um, with your degree. So we, we've kind of designed it where if you have an associate's degree in culinary arts or, or food and beverage management from another institution, that's fine. You can roll right into our bachelor level and start as a junior. So um, we're, we're, we're trying to make it uh, as, as uh, easy and compatible as, as possible to all the students out there to get them to that next level. Because that bachelor level, it's it's funny out there that still a lot of these management training training programs they want that bachelor degree, but we're going to give them a bachelor degree that's going to blow their socks off. That they're going to be like these are the people that we want. I love it. I love it. Well, I think you got a lot of people heading over uh, to csn.edu uh, there and and looking up hospitality. So I think that's absolutely great, Joe. Uh, you know, it's been fun talking to you. I sincerely appreciate you taking the time. And, uh, you know, thank you for building that next wave of the future, man. I don't know how many people tell you that, but, you know, thanks. I, I know everybody in, this, in the industry really appreciates it. Uh, I, lo I love doing it, Do doing it with a passion. Call me back. Awesome. I'll come back anytime you want. <laughs> love it. Well, then I'll talk to you soon, Joe. I appreciate it, man. All right. Take care. All right. You too.